Hi, in this video I'll give you the latest status update on all Helium HIP19 approved hotspot manufacturers and we will see what's been going on there most recently. To make everything easier for you in this video, I have placed some timestamps uh, down below. So if there is a particular manufacturer that interests you, please go ahead and click on the timestamp to see their status update. I hope that is helpful. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell icon to get the latest updates when it comes to helium miners, the shipping, the helium network and several other projects. Hey everyone, Crypto Layman here. Thank you very much for tuning back in. If you're new around here, welcome to our little corner in the internet where we try and share useful information as a community and we keep an eye on projects that are currently popular in the community. If there is a project that you would like me to look into, please feel free to mention that in the comment section. So before I actually go on, the usual disclaimer, please make sure that you do not fall for any of these scammers in the comment section. Please remember that I would never pass you any contact details for anybody. With that being said, we will look at Synchrobit. As usual, Synchrobit's blog posts have been relatively meager. The last update they posted was six days ago, and it was in relation to dashboard customization, etc and then their outdoor hotspot we have a really top quality update again from george all he says is that antennas are in in where your guess is as good as mine i don't know well happy father's day george and thank you very much i hope you had a really relaxing sunday father's day is gone now and we would really like to know what's going on with the shipments in particular with the North American FCC certification, etc. What's the news on that front? What is going on with all the other units for Europe? It's really difficult to get a decent update from George, is the moral of the story here. Uh, the last update we had was from Matt, and that was quite detailed, where he essentially stated what was going on, and essentially nothing else has developed since so unfortunately there is not much else besides this picture here that i can update you with not much else has happened now we look at nebra and nebra have started shipping the second batch or the beginning of the second batch now so things are happening slowly with nebra unfortunately there is not much else known about the second batch how many units they're shipping is not known and you have to bear in mind they're not shipping out to customers straight away these are being shipped from their factory to their distributors so there will be a delay until these units are actually shipped out to customers again this is batch two we are almost at the end of june and i think i'm going to be skeptical here batch four is unlikely to happen in july as they promised don't quote me on it it's just a gut feeling now let's look at rack and calchip connect Unfortunately, exactly same as the last update. I've uh, covered that already in the previous one. So unfortunately, there is no further developments on that. I'm not going to waste any further time. I think I have basically handed this over to God and I am not setting my hopes very high. Calship Connect and Rack are absolutely useless when it comes to keeping us informed as to what's happening with the supply chains. They supposedly have a 12,000 units per month capacity and apparently they are still struggling to cope uh, with the whole demand and uh, they're struggling to ship these orders i'm pretty sure they're working and doing something in the background but i am extremely unhappy as to the level of transparency that they offer in terms of uh, their production issues all they say is we are having some supply line issues that's it nothing else so let's move on to curling curling are offering a helium compatible gateway stroke a light hotspot the price starts from 449 dollars and there is a model that's being sold for 899 dollars again no shipping update for these because it's all being sold and managed and produced by calchip connect in partnership with curling and unfortunately nothing has been shared other than these shipments will start in the fall of 2021 so now the fall of 2021 i'm not entirely sure what they exactly mean by that but i suppose we are at their mercy 
and we will have to wait and see. We'll now look at Long AP and Long AP after their first attempt at selling some products on the 15th of June, which was a complete nightmare for everybody involved, apart from a few individuals who managed to get their hands on one of those items. I'm still yet to find an individual who actually bought one of these. So if you know somebody, please let them know and tell them to get in touch. Uh, I would like to see how their experience was and how did, on earth did they manage to complete the purchase? Did they pay a full price? Did they not? I would like to know these things. So that would be great. Learning from their previous experience, Long AP have now said that they will be opening for another sale fairly soon. However, they will not announce an exact time as to when the website is going to open because they don't want to repeat the fiasco of the 15th of June. They will announce a date, but they won't announce the exact time frames as to when on that day they will open. So I'm not entirely sure how that will help because the news will get out fairly quickly unless people keep really hush hush about everything so i'm not entirely sure how uh, they will manage to do that but as and when they announce something i will try my level best to bring it to you right so we'll move on to bobcat now first of all bobcat have had a bit of an issue with the batch number seven i understand the details for batch seven have still not been sent out yet because for some mysterious reason a large part of batch number seven was not picked up by DHL or UPS. I've spoken to a few people who still haven't received their batch tracking details. I calculated 10 odd days from the announcement, so they are still within the time frame. Hopefully they will get this tracking out by tomorrow. Hopefully batch number seven people will get their tracking details this week and batch eight uh, tracking details will arrive at the weekend coming or the week following that. So that's it in terms of Bobcat. Now the next one we will look at uh, next dot. They are still in the HIP19 approval stages. So you can join the waiting list. However, you can't actually physically order this uh, device as yet because they still have loops to jump through. So there we are in terms of uh, Linux dot. Unfortunately, as I said, nothing going on there. Then we have the new provider called SenseCap by Seed Studios. Again, they are also in the initial stages of being HIP19 approved. Now, one key thing about SenseCap is, and I mentioned that in the previous video as well, they are aiming to initially, at the very least, uh, ship from stock. And when the units go online on for sale, they will be going on for sale on seedstudio.com um, and that's where the device will be listed and you can purchase there is all sorts of other things that you can purchase from there as well like the 8 dbi antennas etc um, so if you want to check them out there is a good chance that they may have these antennas in stock now we look at another provider which is called pisces miner they have uh, issued several tweets today and they have tried to answer a few questions from the community now let's uh, look at these tweets from Pisces again they are in the early stages of being HIP approved so they're not quite ready to take these orders on so the first question that was asked by the community was whether it supports your country and they have made a website seeing regions dot com, so you can go on there and check what region they will be covering so india for example if we check in india whether that will be covered yes they will cover the indian region that is quite a handy little thing so then the second on question was where can i pre-order so they don't have a website at the moment however once the website is there the pre-order will be there the third question is when Will the pre-orders be uh, be opened? And they're saying that they, they're optimistic that they will start at the end of July, so about a month's time. Fourth question is the product that they, that you see. Is it a final product? No, it's a sample version and the units will be priced at around 400 to 500. So then what are you doing now is the fifth question. And they're saying that they are developing the hardware, auditing it, research and developing the light hotspots, developer dashboard, etc. So they are still working on, on those several things. There we are. That's the picture of the Pisces Miner prototypes. 
that have been uh, sort of selected so far. That's their logo with two fish. Now, finally, we'll look at Freedom Fi and we will see what they're saying. Again, there's still no updates on Freedom Fi with the 5G gateway, unfortunately. Um, nothing has been added to the pins on Discord. There's no news on the website. I am not entirely sure how they are actually going to work. So if I look at their website, it's slightly confusing. So they say number one, order a Freedom Fi gateway, which is a helium compatible gateway. And then I think it generally goes into a spiel where if you want to set up a normal gateway, then you have to bear certain expenses. Like if you want to support one gateway, you, have, you can choose the free plan and it will support just one network and one, you know, free plan. However, you will need to insert something like a um, a pre-programmed SIM card for, for you know, US customers only, uh, which is $50. Then the radio frequency planning and radio uh, procurement is going to be $500 per location. Support will cost additional money. So I think that's generally if you are putting up a 5G antenna or something similar or a gateway, those are the expenses associated with that. However, I think the uh, initial Freedom Fi 5G uh, gateway will actually incorporate these initial sort of expenses if there are any at all. So the website is not super clear as to what's going to be required from a Helium compatible gateway. Unfortunately, no updates from them at all in terms of uh, shipping or production status. Completely no word, complete radio silence there. If you have general questions about them, you can head over to Discord and the community will try and help you there. But unfortunately, there's nothing specific from Freedom Fi as to where we stand in terms of the gateway production, etc. Uh, so that's it in terms of the update. I hope I covered everybody. If I've forgotten a manufacturer, please mention that in the comment section. I'll try my utmost to try and cover all manufacturers in future videos. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Look after yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.